Hey everyone, it's Zephyr here with another video tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get and load up some sound fonts into your audio program. I'm going to be uh, going along in FL Studio, but you can follow along in whichever program you like or, or are most comfortable with. If you're wondering what a sound font is at this moment, uh, what it is essentially is it's a collection of sounds or samples from a specific instrument generally, or synthesizer, that are arranged in a way that they can be read by a certain type of plugin called a sound font player. And it's a very simple format, and the best part about it is that most sound fonts are generally free. So if you don't have a lot of money on hand, and you're interested in getting some good sounds, then sound fonts are for you. So the first thing that you're going to need is the sound font player. Now I'm going to be recommending uh, two different sound font players here. They're fairly commonly used uh, and they work well. Simple but they do the job. Uh, the first one I'd recommend is SFZ by RGC Audio and it's a very simple uh, no bells and whistles interface and it comes in VST format you can get it on KVR Audio, but I'll also include a link in the comment of the video. Uh, but one thing that you'll want to note with that is it doesn't have a lot of controls, and it tends to trip over itself a little when you load multiple instances. Uh, you can get a few artifacts. So I'm also going to recommend uh, Sound Fonter on KVR Audio. I'll include a link to that as well. That comes in VST as well. Uh, that one's got some envelope controls, and it also doesn't uh, tend to have any problems with multiple instances, which can happen a lot if you're doing orchestral work with sound fonts and things like that. So uh, check those out in the comments of the video, uh, link into those and download them. And I'm not going to go into detail about how to install these VSDs, because that'll change depending on your program. Uh, but if you're using FL Studio, you can check out my video on how to find and install VST plugins on how to do that. Okay, so after you get your VST plugin for playing sound fonts, uh, what we're going to want to do is get some sound fonts. There are tons of different places on the internet that you can find sound fonts, and generally the best way to get a good sound font is just to go on Google or your search engine and, you know, search for it. So if you want a good piano sound font, just search for piano sound font. And you should find a few different uh, places. You're going to have to sift through them and try and find a good one, uh, which could take a little time, but uh, if you don't put any time, you're not going to get any good sounds. So uh, one thing I've got to outline for you is when you download sound fonts, they're not generally going to be in a usable form, which is the SF2 format. Uh, they're most likely going to come in either a zip archive, in which case you can just extract it using WinZip or WinRAR or something, but they might also come in an SFARC file, S-F-A-R-K, or an SFPACK file, S-F-P-A-C-K. Now, if you get one of those, you're going to need a special unpacker program specifically for sound fonts. And uh, I'm going to show you where to find that so that you know how to... Uh, unpack those when you get them. So, uh, open your internet browser, and I'm going to go to one of the sound font sites that I'm going to include in a list in the comments. I'll have a list of a bunch of uh, comprehensive sound font websites. I'm going to go to soundfonts.it under the sound font section, and on this page you'll see they have a link to sfarc plus sfpack. Dot zip right here, and uh, if you download that, it'll include the programs to extract both of those file types, so that you can use those as well. Uh, and most of the sound font sites will be either classified like this, or will have some sort of search function, so that you can uh, find the sort that you want. I'm going to quickly outline this process. Say we want a piano, we'll click on piano. And then they'll have some comments, uh, who it's submitted by. And you can see on this one, you can see the file format. These are SFPAC formats. So you can choose a piano, download it, and then uh, install your Unpacker program and run it through there. And you should have an SF2 format. 
Okay, so by now, I hope you've managed to download and install your sound font player, and have also uh, found and extracted some good sound fonts. Uh, if you haven't done that yet, then I recommend you pause the video and go back and uh, get that set up, and then you can come back when you're done. Okay, so I have loaded up here uh, the two plugins that I recommended, Sound Fonter and SFZ, and I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how to load the sound fonts into these plugins. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, but I'll let you see how it's done. So here we have uh, Sound Fonter. Just uh, load up the GUI in whichever program you're using. And uh, you should see this. It's not much to look at, but it's got uh, all of your knobs on there for your envelopes and your volume. But uh, in this top right panel here, you'll see it has the load button. It's uh, as simple as that. Just click the load. It'll pop up with your file browser and navigate to your sound fonts folder. You should probably keep them all in uh, one area. I keep them uh, labeled in folders by type. I'll try, how about a piano sound font? Uh, sure, Steinway Grand Piano. Okay, so it loaded it up just that quick, and uh, it should work just like that. Yep, works fine. Alright, uh, just as easy as that. And as you can see uh, up here, there's one thing you'll want to notice, is most sound fonts actually have several sounds in them. Uh, there may be variations of the original sound or different types of instruments. Uh, in this case, in Sound Fonter, this little arrow here will bring up a list. Uh, you can't see this right here, but it has options for four different types of Steinway Grand Pianos uh, with pedals and brightness adjusted and such. Uh, so you want to look into that, try them all out, see what they all sound like. It's also got a bank option, but uh, you probably won't be using that. Okay, well, SFZ is very similar. It's got uh, this file bar here. All you have to do is click that and navigate to your sound fonts again. Choose the sound font and load it up. Very similar. But one other thing that SFZ can do is load SFZ files. In this case, uh, this is a kit that someone made out of a large amount of wave samples. And uh, it's very similar to a sound font. It's just you can make them yourself if you like uh, very easily. And they have a little bit more complicated uh, stuff going on and sampling. So it's the same deal though. You just double click on the SFZ file and it'll load it up into your program. Okay. So it's loaded up just like that and it should be ready to go. Yep, there it goes, it works fine, and you can use it in your song now. One other thing, uh, an extra thing for FL Studio users, if you are using uh, XXL Edition or have purchased the sound font player for FL Studio, it supports drag and drop, uh, which is very handy, it's very quick, and then you can use the FL sound font player as a native plugin. So, uh, if you want, you can just go in your browser to your sound fonts folder, Choose a sound font from anywhere in here, and uh, just drag it right into your channels bar. It'll load it up properly, and it's uh, good to go. You have a few envelope, reverb, and LFO settings to mess with. And uh, if you want to see which other uh, sounds it has inside, you can just click this bar, and it'll bring up the list. And that should work, too. All right. Uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you learned how to load up some sound font players and as well as some sound fonts. And I hope you go out now and you expand your sound font library. And you can get some really good sounds so long as you keep looking a little bit and sift through the masses. Some of them aren't very good. You just need to uh, dig a little bit for the gold. Thanks for watching once again. And if you're uh, interested in FL Studio or any other ImageLine products, I can get you 10% off with uh, the link in the comments. Enjoy making music!